Hello everyone, it's Lisa here for Picket Fence Studios. I hope you are all doing okay out there. Today I'm going to be taking you through the June 2021 release. I'm so excited to be sharing all the new products with you. I know that you're going to love this release. It's really good fun. A couple of themes going on, but we'll get into that in a moment. What I thought I would do is I'm going to take you through each of the items individually and I'm going to show you the cards that I created using them so that you can see them come to life and where I don't have uh, I haven't had an opportunity to use something I'm going to be inserting some segments to show you some of the other cards from the design team and that way you can really see all the products and how they can be used on your cards and don't forget of course to check out the Picket Fence Studios website you'll see all the card examples for the new release over there I'm going to be sharing my cards in more detail over on my blog over the next couple of days and there will be links in the description below to my blog and I will also have links to the supplies so you can click through there and see everything from the new release so let's jump in and get started I thought I would start off showing you the products that are kind of ocean sea or beach inspired really good fun at this theme I always love creating an ocean theme card I I don't know what it is about it we've got a lovely new whale to show you for those of you that like me like to color the whales and the dolphins but first up I've got this set here and this is called mermaid deer and there, she is part of a range of similar products. There's one called Artist Deer. There's another one called Your Friend Deer. They're quite whimsical, these images. They, um, I really love them. I love the style of them. She's got a little flower in her hair. And of course, she's holding these. I think, are these puffer fish? I think they are. But I'm going, I'm going to call them puffer fish anyway. So she's holding them like they're little balloons. And this fits perfectly on an A2 card. You've got a big sentiment there, seize the day. You've got hashtag salt, salty and sashy. And then one up there saying seek to see more. And she does come with a coordinating die. So that makes that really easy to cut out. And here is the card that I created with this set. Uh, I did some simple Copic colouring for, for her. I, I just love to colour. It doesn't take that long to colour. They're not huge images. And having a dye is brilliant because you've got these little sections here in between the uh, ties which make it really handy to have a dye. So I just mounted her onto a background that I had created using the Slimline Gradient Scale stencil from a few months back. I used some paper glaze and paper glaze enhancer for the background and the paper glaze is actually two of the colours from the ombre set called Sky Blues which was released last month and I hadn't had a chance to use it so I really wanted to get it on a card this month so that's, that's the card that I created. I added a few little sequins too and that brings me on to this sequin mix. This one here is called Po uh, City Lights, we've got another one coming up called Polar Lights uh, later on, but this is called City Lights and again it's really hard to capture these on camera, but this is such a beautiful mix of kind of turk, like a teal, a purple, you've got some uh, you've got some pink, bright pink, little clear ones, a little bit of white. It's such a gorgeous, uh, you know, such a pretty mix. And because I'd done my little fish in purple and teal, it just went perfectly uh, with her. So you can see close-ups of these over on the site as well if, if, you, if it's difficult for you to see it there. The next set that I want to show you is called A Fishy Lot. I absolutely love this set. When I saw this set, I just, this whale, I mean, come on, you, it's so cute with a little eye and I just love the style of 
this well and of course you've got some mermaids there you've got some fish some little seahorses you've got bubbles there um, a jellyfish so there's lots of ways that you can use this set you can combine it with existing sets as well that came out a few months ago but I just love this whale I, I definitely had to use this I've put my uh, set against a white cardstock I didn't have mine in the original packaging so to be able to see it clearly I've just put some white white card stock behind and of course it does come with the coordinating dies just to make your life a little easier and as if that wasn't enough you have got a second set and this is called more of a fishy lot so again you've got some little mermaids there one of them sitting on a rock and you've got a merman there you've got some more fish this adorable octopus I love the dolphin such a fun set and of course this does also come with the coordinating dies and here is the card that I created with these sets I did go for a slimline card he does fit he or she does fit on an A2 card but I wanted to kind of spread my scene out a little bit and I went for quite a simple scene I took obviously the whale from one of the sets and the fish I think were from the other one but I created a background using the rising sun stencil actually I turned it upside down to produce some rays coming down from the top of the sea and my whale was copic coloured as were my little fish and then I used a sentiment from the set so that says fishy kisses and birthday wishes I really love this little whale and how this card turned out for my next card I have used this set here now this is called you were mermaid for me this is kind of what I call a stamp and go set it's one of these where you don't have to do any masking you can just stamp your image down onto some cardstock color it and away you go you've got a um, some waves up there that would fit really well on a slim line and an A2 and you've got some great sentiments here beach please mermaids just want to have fun out of all the fish in the sea you were mermaid for me so a really lovely set if you just want to spend a little bit of time sitting down and coloring which is what I did for my card so this is the card that I created I took that beautiful ocean well, bottom of the ocean scene and I took the octopus and the dolphin from more of a fishy lot and I've added those on the top and then this sentiment here I thought it went really well <laughs> with these they look like they're two friends together and this sentiment is actually from Cats Are Family which came out a few months ago and it says whoever finds a good friend finds a home and don't they just look like they're at home together there so a really lovely stamp set one of my favorite scene stamps I think so I know I'm going to be using this again and um, yeah I did a little bit of ink blending around the top but really you just stamp and colour away you can watercolour, copic colour, whatever takes your fancy so that was that card okay so moving on from the sea ocean themed items the next one that I wanted to share with you is this set here this is called forest critters stopping by to say hey does have a coordinating die as well you've got some deer you've got a fox an owl squirrel a mouse and you've obviously got some sentiments included in there too everyone sends lots of love I love that because of course you could have a whole group of them there and and use that sentiment but it's a really fun little set and it goes well with a couple of the other dies which I want to show you or a couple of the new dies I should say this die here I put it on some white card again because mine didn't have its packaging but this is a slimline tree silhouette die so a really really lovely die I use it on my card which I'm going to show you in a moment so that's for all you slimline card fanatics out there there is also one in an A2 format so that's, that's the cover plate completely covers the front of an A2 card really lovely silhouettes I think and this is how I use them on my card 
And this is my card that I created with the slimline version of the silhouette die. I really liked it in white, wanted to go for a winter themed card. It's not a Christmas card, I kept it general with a hello my friend greeting which I got from the uh, Forest Critters set and I just took three of the deer and I put them on some snow banks and I had the kind of the white silhouette over the top. My background is just distress oxides and I went for kind of a polar theme because there is a gem mix coming up that I'm going to show you in a minute that has those colours in it so I thought I would use those for my background. And this is the gem mix that I used on this card. I've just taken six of the sequins from, from this mix. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like blues and pinks. They change colour as you tilt them in the light, but it's really a, a gorgeous mix. You've got different sizes of gems as well. So I just placed them kind of up towards the, the tree and a few under the sentiment there, but a really lovely mix. And of course you can see a close up of that on the website. So here's where I jump in and I show you some cards from other members of the team. The first up is Julia. She uses the A2 Trees die and she uses it with some products that are coming up shortly. This is such a fun card. I really like how she combined the different products here. And the next one is from Angela and she's used the A2 tree dye but uses it with a much more mixed media effect and I think the colours in this are just so, so pretty. And keeping with the forest theme, you've got this set here called Listen for Joy. This is lovely. I love a tree stamp, I love a tree die as well. But this is a really good uh, stamp for an A2 card. You can even make a 5 by 7 card with this as well. I think that would look great. You've got Listen for Joy, just because I love you, a thank you, a hooray. Families come in all shapes and sizes, but the one thing they have in common is friendship. So that's a really nice sentiment. And I just decided that I would heat emboss this and I heat embossed it over a watercolor background. So I'm gonna show you that card now, but again, this looks beautiful colored as well. And you don't, you know, it doesn't require a huge amount of coloring. It's quite an easy image to color. Here is my card with that tree set. So as I mentioned, I did some white embossing over a watercolored background. And then I took one of the new word topper dies. So I'm just gonna show you that now. This one here, and there are five of them this month. This is called You Are Phenomenal. And as you can see here, you've got the words that go along the top of this strip. So what that allows you to do is just stamp another greeting underneath. So it's really easy to obviously line that up. You don't have to cut it all out separately. So this acts as your kind of sentiment die. And they just look great kind of lined up <laughs> along the top. I love the thin letters. And I took this sentiment from favorite notification, but there is a set this month which is called Word Die Topper Subtitles. It didn't arrive in time for me to show you that today, but I am gonna show it to you in another segment so that you can see what the what the subtitles are and they go really well with the topper dies that have been released. So that's the first one which is You Are Phenomenal and I've used that with Listen for Joy. Here are three more of the word topper dies. This one is called I Love Your Face. You've got one called This Is A Paper Hard. They all cut the same way. They've got these kind of tall, thin letters. They all have the strip, obviously, at the bottom. And this one is Congratulations. So really, really fun way to add a sentiment to a card. And um, they fit perfectly across um, a horizontal A2 card. And of course, you can cut them down if you do a vertical card. So really excited to show those to you. I think these are gonna be really popular. And I've got another example of a card using the Hello Word Topper die, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. Time for another two cards from the team. The first up is Angela. She's used the Congratulations Topper die, but she's used it on a slimline card. And you can see how well that works too. Sandy's card here, I'd love for all its color, but I really like the 
bold sentiment across the middle and she has used the this is a paper hug word topper die on there. So here's a closer look at the new sentiment set to go with these topper dies. It's been designed to work perfectly with those but of course you can use the sentiments without the dies and alternatively you can use other sentiments from other sets on the toppers. So you can really mix it up with this set, it's, a, it's got some fabulous sentiments in it. And that leads me nicely on to the next product that I wanted to share with you. Now I've got some items coming up that all kind of have a pond theme to them and they also pair really well with the tree silhouette dies that I just showed you. So some great examples of how they can both be used from the team and I will share some more of their cards but this is called Drop By To Say Croak. You've got all these really adorable frog images and you've they are just so much fun. I only got to use one of these images. I really ran out of time this month, but I hope to make another card with this. You've got a sentiment there. I thought I'd drop by to say croak. Uh, you are my hopping favourite. It's such a fun set. I think it, we really loved playing with this one this month. There is coordinating dies to go with that. And this is the card that I made. Now my card is really clean and simple. I took the Hello Word topper die, which I hadn't shown you when I was showing you the other ones previously. And I just die cut it five times from different card stocks and I stacked them up together just to sort of create this graphic card. And then I took the little image of the frog peak peeking up above the water and I just popped him to the side there. I thought it was <laughs> so fun. I did play around with about three or four of the images and they all look quite fun on this card but that's what I went with in the end. I really really love how this turned out and it's quite fun to see how these all stack up together. I did leave these loose actually except for the one at the top which I did glue down so Anyway, that's another way that you can use the toppers. You don't even have to put a stamp with it. I just obviously put this little frog to the side. But these frogs come with lots of accompanying sets, which I haven't had a chance to use. The first of which is the pond scenery set. So you've got your lily pad there, and then you've got some rocks and stones and foliage there. That comes with a coordinating die. You've also got this die here. This is called the cattails die. This is so this is so cute. And as I say, these go really well with those tree dies as well. And um, I love I've loved seeing how people have used that really good fun die. And you have also got a stencil that is perfect for this release. This is a slimline lily pad stencil. Um, so you can create lots of lily pads and, you know, you can create a little scene with your frogs on top. Time for a few more cards from the team. First up is Sandy. She created this adorable slimline card. She's used a plethora of those cute frogs on her card, but she's also used the cattails die as well. And I love that she's done those in purple. It's so much fun. And here is another card from Julia. I showed this earlier, but I didn't mention it at the time because I hadn't shown them. She's also used the frogs, the pond scenery and the cattails. And this is from Angie. She has used the pond scenery die in an ocean theme card, which I think also works really, really well. And I love that it's purple. Here's one from Michelle. She uses the slimline lily pad stencil. I just love the colours she's used in her card. And she's added a few of the frogs on top to complete her scene. I think it's absolutely adorable. To coordinate also with all these items, or obviously you can use them with other sets as well, you've got another set of ombre paper glazes here. There's three colours in these sets. You've got an A, B and a C, and this is called grass greens. 
So you've got a lighter green there, that's a beautiful colour. You've got a darker green on this side and then you've kind of got an olivey green in the middle. I like the mix of these colours, they work really well for these sets as well. And you've also got a set of, uh, there is some more sequins, this is a sequin mix called Pot of Gold. So load of greens and kind of greeny yellows and a little bit of gold in there. Again, that is a great um, sequin mix to use with all your frog creations. Before I move on to showing you the last products from the release, we're almost there now, I wanted to share this with you. Now this is a completely new concept that in the kind of paper glaze range. Now it isn't a paper glaze, it's a different consistency and it works in a different way. This is called Paper Glitz Sparkle, so it comes in a little pot and this is, I guess, a lot more of a clear glitter. So you can use this to, uh, when you're stenciling, you can use it over ink, you can use it over your paper glaze. It's a really exciting product. I didn't have time to use mine yet, but I did have a little play with it. Now it is quite fluid and when you receive it, you will see that there is, a, you'll see a kind of distinct line at the bottom. And at the kind of lower end of the pot, you've got where all the mica sits. So before you use this product, you'll need to stir it up to make sure that all the mica distributes evenly within, within the paste. And once you've mixed it up, you can then apply it over your project. Now, the best way of doing that is to use some kind of sponge. If you use a spatula, which is which is what I did when I tried it out. It does actually, because it's very fluid, it can easily seep under your stencil. So the best way that we found to use it is to use it with a sponge. And all you do is you just tap your sponge very lightly into the, into the mix and then you can kind of pounce it over your project. And it just adds the most gorgeous glitter over the top, which, which um, doesn't change the colour, obviously, of your panel underneath, because this is very much a clear sparkle that you are putting down over the top. So it's a really exciting product. I cannot wait to try it on a card. I hope I get a little bit more time to try it this week. But yeah, really, really good fun. Just make sure that you stir it up before you use it. Don't shake it definitely stir it and then um, pick, up your, pick up your sponge and pounce away to your heart's content on your project and it really adds a beautiful glitter over the top. Here's a card from Angie. She used the grass greens paper glazes through a stencil for her background and she also applied the paper glitz sparkle over the top. I think it looks so pretty against the silhouette of the trees and the cattails. Next up, we've got a couple of slimline stencils for you. You've got the slimline plaid one stencil, and then you've got the slimline triangle peak stencil. And of course, you can use these slimline stencils on an A2 card, so don't forget they work well on A2 as well. I used one on this little girl here, so they won't cover the whole panel, but they do cover a big portion of it. And here is the card that I created with the Plaid One stencil. I started off by creating my background. I did a little bit of ink blending through the stencil. I then shifted it and then I applied the lightest blue from the Sky Blues Paper Glaze Ombre set that came out last month and did that over the top. And then I just added in Kylie Girl. I stamped and coloured her and I cut out... Um, I sort of use the die to cut her out an outline from the background panel and I've inset her there. And I used a word die that was released, gosh, a few months ago now and an accompanying sentiment from a different set just to finish that card off. Here's a card from Julia where she uses the Slimline Triangle Peak Stencil as a backdrop to Mermaid Deer. I think this shows really, really well how you can use a Slimline Stencil on an A2 card and I think it turned out beautifully.
Following on from the two girls that were released last month, I think it was Libra and Virgo last month, and this month you've got Scorpio Girl. I'm going to show an example from the design team following this. You will, you can get coordinating dies for these as well, so there is one for Scorpio Girl. Here's a card from Michelle where she uses the Scorpio girl and she's created a stenciled background that I really think makes that image pop. I love the colours that she's used in this bright, vibrant card. And last up, but certainly not least, you've got this gorgeous set here called I'll Always Pick You. Such a beautiful image, looks great, just stamped in a clean and simple card. You don't need anything other than that image, although you can pair it beautifully with the seamless stamp, which is called My Bike and I. So that is another one of that range of stamps that Picket Fence bring out that allow you to create a repeat stamped background. But this one here, you have got lots of different sentiments that you can use along with it to personalise your card. You've got I owe you big time, you are my ride or die, I don't know what I would do without you. So lots of different options there to create a card for someone special. And as I say, you can also pair that with the bike background too. And the final cards from the team, here's Michelle who's used that stamp set and created a beautiful watercoloured card. The soft colours on this I think are so pretty with those flowers. And next up is Susie, she's created a lovely clean and simple card using that set and some of the sentiments from that as well. And to finish off we have another card from Susie has, who has used the seamless stamp to create this colourful rainbow card and she's also used the Hello Word topper die there uh, along with an accompanying sentiment. And that's a wrap. That brings me to the end of the video for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing all the new products and also the cards from myself and the rest of the design team. As I mentioned before, I am going to have coordinating blog posts for my cards so you can check them out in more detail and there are links to everything in the new release below. So thank you so much for joining me and I will be back next month to share the July 2021 release with you.